This is Reverend Dr. Michael Vanderpool with HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash universalstar.gs or www.omsh.net OMSH books and services and uh, this video clip I'm talking about um, health and astrology and how I've used health uh, ideas for health and healing um, and astrology together to really get a heads up and some uh, some cues or insight from my own personal health and this is only my own personal observations I'm not a medical doctor I'm not here to diagnose, treat, uh, cure uh, anybody or anything I'm only here to share my personal observations and some experience and I'll start out by saying that uh, you know in the old books of astrology some are talking about how when uh, Saturn opposes uh, your sun, your natal sun, when transiting Saturn opposes your natal sun, uh, some of the issues that can come up are issues to do with bones or um, a circulatory system. So looking ahead, I saw that I had that uh, coming up. I had gone to a local medical doctor and had uh, you know, throughout the years, got a physical exam and, you know, a full lab and all that sort of thing, and everything was uh, looking pretty good up until this point. Um, when I had saw that coming ahead, this uh, Saturn opposition sun, I decided to um, also pay heed to my uh, skeletal structure, you know, my bones, and think about, uh, you know, I had been. Uh, recommended to look into orthotics by a uh, neurocranial uh, restructuring uh, practitioner um, and uh, also uh, I wanted to revisit the dental work, the dental issue and I had um, in Belize, the Republic of Georgia uh, went and checked and sure enough it was really uh, quite a serious situation. I was uh, dealing with the treatment of uh, periodontal disease um, through a dentist there at HBI Dental and it's been uh, very, very helpful and outstanding. So that was just one issue that was brought to the fore and that I really was paying attention to and trying to get taken care of uh, because of this transit and I had uh, also really uh, gone back to the medical doctor, the local medical doctor, and tested and found out that I had high triglycerides. And uh, he had uh, given a prescription of Lovesa, which is uh, high quality, high doses of fish oil. And, um, you know, my mother was uh, telling me about how she was so aware of, uh, you know, use of niacin and uh, I had uh, a cardiologist um, daughter who's also medical uh, graduate, medical school graduate here in Georgia tell me about you know studies that show about 50 milliliters of whiskey so I I looked further into you know that and um, and then I was reading Dr. Sherry Rogers book Is Your Cardiologist Killing You at uh, you know I got it from prestigepublishing.com and also her book cholesterol hopes and I started uh, taking uh, uh, Carlson lab e-gyms and uh, walking at least 45 minutes a day every day and uh, at uh, in checking the second time that I had tri high triglyceride levels I was able to uh, knock that level um, more than half in three months because the first three months I really didn't get with this program I really didn't get with you know the full spectrum uh, protocol that I had taken on but the heads up was massively important in my observation and in my own health because when I saw the Saturn opposition Sun transit coming ahead I thought you know I'm gonna have to go in and get checked I'm gonna have to have my blood checked triglycerides and cholesterol that that's what the triglyceride levels was was alarming and uh, and then also the uh, the dental work, which can also play into uh, periodontal disease, can play into heart issues, according to some of the information in Dr. Sherry Rogers' book. So these two things are kind of connected, but yet also separate. 
And so this is just one example of how I personally have uh, benefited from looking ahead and looking at some of the older, more fatalistic, if you will, or more, some people call it negative, uh, text, but I call it a little bit more straightforward text of astrology to find it, uh, you know, it can be um, helpful. In my case, it was extremely helpful. And again, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not here to diagnose, treat, cure uh, anybody or anything. I'm just sharing my own personal experience as an intuitive astrologer. And there's uh, another experience that um, a friend of mine had. He has um, a very serious condition, and it involves uh, uh, hip impingement, and uh, it's in both the left and right hip. And so he is uh, only finding out about that maybe, uh, you know, within the last year and uh, or a year and a half I think and so this is something that uh, was quite profound and quite serious because it's a rather major surgical procedure that requires uh, surgery that he's had on the uh, left hip and he'll soon in just the next uh, uh, within the next uh, two weeks go in for surgery on the right hip and so um, he chose to use a very powerful day uh, in terms of luck, prosperity, peace, protection, fortune. You know, it was a Jupiter applying to the sun uh, in conjunction uh, day, and also in the uh, geodeclinations chart of Magi Astrology in the general sky, it was also a Jupiter parallel the Sunday, at least when he met the surgical team. Now, this was his choice. This was his uh, desire to use uh, the, the same type of energy uh, and aspects that many of a uh, royalty um, have used for thousands of years around the world for weddings and other, you know, taking certain offices. As have um, it is said, uh, most if not all of the first. Uh, presidential inaugurations of the United States having occurred from the late 1700s all the way up to 1933 on March 4th because that is a, uh, a, a Jupiter trine sun day and this offers at least from an astrological viewpoint uh, the maximum amount of uh, peace, protection, prosperity and fortune into that endeavor that you're natalizing, that you're birthing uh, for the first time, first time activity, uh, first time event on that day in theory. And so uh, this, uh, this person who had the uh, very serious uh, hip surgery chose to use such a day to meet the surgical team that was a, a Sun-Jupiter day, uh, a, sun, a, a Jupiter flying to the Sun day in the general sky, but also uh, fortunately for him he had some very strong uh, Jupiter applying to the Sun aspects in his personal transits as well uh, on the very next day when the actual surgery actually took place. And his uh, surgeon, a world-class surgeon, there's only a very few uh, people in the world uh, that can do this type of surgery, he uh, alleged uh, to have reported that it was a very fortunate procedure uh, that they didn't think they would be able to do as much as they were uh, and did uh, accomplish in that procedure and also he was able to uh, walk. He uh, reported to me uh, almost immediately after the surgery which is rather rare, it's exceptional in, in terms of what he reported to me, what he had researched, what he had found in his uh, very thorough and deep extensive studies of people that have these procedures done. In fact he was able to go and um, have a uh, uh, six weeks later um, uh, a concert in which he played. He's a musician, and they didn't even think that. I mean, who would have thought that would even be possible? A lot of people are still uh, trying to recover, and not and, and not that he's not still trying to recover. Certainly, the recovery process is quite a long and lengthy process in this type of very serious uh, procedure, but in any case, 
uh, he has considered his recovery um, very fortunate and himself very lucky. And he reports that his surgeon had said the very same thing or had the very same uh, attitude about how things went in the procedure itself and about his recovery thus far. So uh, certainly for him it's not over, but uh, in looking at the astrology of, um, you know, election, electional astrology, which where the term comes from, uh, is that, uh, you know, there are some days in theory that are more fortunate than others. Uh, and we look at the general sky and we also look at our personal transits to try to get an idea of what our experience of what our energy uh, will be on a certain day and then at the day itself and what kind of energy that day has to offer. And of course, ideally, it's always um, best to be able to align those up if and when we can. That can't always happen, but it's certainly helpful when we can do that. So in closing on this very short video clip about the astrology of um, health, or astrology and health, I um, just wanted to share those few things and also, there's transits that we can look ahead and see where there can be times where, you know, it's good to take better care of stress management. Uh, there's times where it's, it, it is um, a heads up. It is a, a reminder to, to lay back, to not push so hard. And then there's other times where we can really see that it is a better time to do that. We have more energy. We have, in fact... There are times where it's even more likely to have greater fertility, perhaps, or to have the energy, certainly, to engage in uh, activities that will lead to uh, uh, pregnancy and success in pregnancy. So these are just things that are a part of some astrological research and things that uh, I personally have benefited from and I've seen uh, a few others benefit from. And again, this is not medical science. Uh, this is not, uh, uh, I'm not a medical doctor, and I'm just sharing observations and personal experiences and those of you people that I've known in using astrology and looking at health. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching me on Facebook, uh, my YouTube uh, username, you can see this at Universal Star GS or Tigr, that's T I G R 71.